team is up early, bringing you more news stories. 619 right now, one man's trash is another man's treasure. We probably all learned that in grade school. Yeah, but in Cleveland, Slavic Village, they're really taking it to heart. And the E-Team's community reporter, Lauren Wilson, is here to show us exactly how. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, guys. Yes, if you take a look at this video here, you're going to see a bunch of abandoned homes. Well, you see me, but you should see a bunch of abandoned homes. And you would probably normally just drive by these homes normally. But that could all change this weekend thanks to a special creative event. It's like a funeral. It is um, uh, really emotional for, you know, the community members and for the artists. But artists like Dana DePew are saying goodbye in style. It's our opportunity as well as an obligation to, in essence, give these spaces a proper eulogy. They're kind of cast off and vacant and they were thriving at one time. DePew is one of a hundred artists who have been working in on and around these five abandoned homes, getting ready for this special farewell art exhibit. It gives them a chance to do ideas or projects that they technically or necessarily would never have been able to do. Like this two-story drop of hanging toilet paper rolls that's gone through the roof. Or this massive cloud coming from this guy. How about this ladder here forcing its way outside the house? The goal? To show just how many people this small section of Cleveland and the entire city had lost and maybe reverse that flow a little. And it also uh, gives people, you know, some hope and, and some interest in, you know, how we can reimagine what to do with these uh, vacant abandoned properties in the city. Really, really cool, super creative. Now the five homes used in the exhibit will be demolished within the next six to seven months, kind of sad. But if you want to give them the proper goodbye, you can check out the artist's work all weekend from noon to five. And I've posted details on our, on our News 5 app. For the E-Team, I'm Lauren Wilson.